Come join us this week as we continue our journey through Australia's Southwest. We get the chance to swim with sea lions, explore ancient limestone pinnacles, and visit our favorite Australian capital city. I'm Erin, and this is Danny, and the littlest member of our family river. We are making our way around Australia with our home in tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. Welcome back guys, tonight we're staying at the Billabong Roadhouse, so we're on the way to Perth and we're staying at this roadhouse because it's pretty good, you actually stay here for free, which is really good of them. Uh, I guess in return they kind of hope you spend a bit of money in their roadhouse. Seems like a pretty good little spot in there. It was super hot today, like on the way down here the car was saying 44 degrees, so hopefully it cools down a bit tonight because it is kind of hard sleeping when it's that hot. Yeah, the last couple of days in Exmouth it was like 46 degrees and at night it did get a little bit difficult to sleep. Look at this, there's a few goats come over and say hello. Right next to our caravan here. So this is the area that we stay in the roadhouse. You know, it's just basically a big sort of dirt patch with a few random little trees around. You can see the roadhouse over there. Yeah, so there's, there's two roadhouses right beside each other. So the other one has power, and that's $15 per person per night. We've decided just to go to the free one tonight because we don't really do that much free camping, so it's nice to do it every now and then. Alright guys, so we're going to hit the road again today, another 6 hour drive. So last night we just sort of hung out in the uh, roadhouse, had a few drinks and stuff, it was nice in the aircon. Uh, it got pretty, it was pretty hot still last night, but it cooled down after about 10 o'clock. So we actually still slept pretty good, so that was alright. Now, um, here we go. So we've just pulled up here in Durian Bay. We tried to get into the Gaday Park, which is kind of like right on the Esplanade, but they're fully booked. So thankfully Durian Bay has an overflow. So it's just like a sports club, big oval. So we've pulled up there for the night. It's only $25 for the night, which is all right. And they do have showers and toilets. And there's quite a few people here, but it's very spread, which is nice. There's a nice breeze. That's actually not too bad. So we're only going to be in the town for one night. So we're just going to unhitch the car now and then head straight back into town and explore the area. Might go for a fish off the jetty and a swim. So this is the main foreshow area in Durian Bay. They've got this nice little jetty they built here where people can come and fish off. There's also like a little pontine over there you can see. So you can swim out to there and you can go snorkeling and stuff off of that. Quite a nice beach area here. I think I might chuck some snorkels on and go for a snorkel. There's a seal in the water here. There he is, see the seal? Look at the seal. <laughs> Everyone's going nuts because there's a seal here. There you go. Got a little seal hanging around in the park. I might go for a snorkel with him in a minute, see if I can still in there.
And how epic was that? I just went and jumped in the water with my snorkels on. After that, we saw that seal. And that seal was swimming around underneath my legs and everything came right up to the camera. That was, that was amazing. We were going to do a tour here to swim the seals, but don't have to now. Just swam with one right then. Awesome. So when we pulled up in Durian Bay today, I really did not expect that we'd come down and check out the jetty and within five minutes I'd be in the water swimming with a seal. Pretty stoked. <laughs> so now we just walk down here a bit further. This is the old jetty. So I'm not sure when this actually was destroyed, but obviously it's just the remains of it now and they, before they put that new jetty. Beautiful beach along here. Really, really nice. I'm quite pleasantly surprised at this place. It was so nice driving in too. Had a nice feel about it. So this is the main boardwalk along Durian Bay. It's quite nice. It's like it's been real done recently, I'd say, because all this playground and everything looks like really new. All this concrete looks new too. We're gonna hang around out here this afternoon and we're gonna go get some fish and chips. Time to leave Durian Bay this morning. It was short but sweet. It was a nice cool sleep last night too, which is good. A lot cooler down here. It's great. Now we're on to the pinnacles. So we're in the car park here at the Nanbung National Park, checking out the pinnacles area today. So we're just gonna unhook our caravan here. You got all these um, trailer parking areas, so you can just unhook your caravan because you gotta drive through the park. You can walk through, but take a lot longer and we're kind of on a time limit, so how yeah, cool is this? So it's like a one way track, you can drive through all these pinnacle area. It's like, like a really yellow sand with all these random points everywhere. Awesome. How different is this landscape? I haven't seen anything else like it around here. What? what do you reckon of all these rocks, River? What do you think? Good? Check the landscape out in this place. Different, that's for sure. Just goes for miles over there, with all these random pinnacles. Look at it. Awesome. I might have to do a bit of reading on um, how this actually formed because it's pretty interesting, you know, like how these rocks can just all be like randomly placed pointing up like that. So I don't know, I don't know whether it was like a volcanic thing that just all these rocks got dropped or whatever. I'll have to read about it because it's pretty interesting, for sure. So it's actually a pretty, pretty decent drive. And there's all these little stops along the way that you can park, check out different aspects of the um, park. It's quite good. At the moment we're walking up to this lookout, we're supposed to look over the whole area. You can see people driving way over there, I'll zoom in. You can see driving through the inner track, so you can get in with a two-wheel drive car. You can also use your national park passes from other national parks, so we had one day left on our pass, we didn't need to buy another one to come in here, so that was handy. Turned up at the Discovery Park at Perth here. Felt weird driving through a city again. Like, 
all the traffic and it took like ages to get from one side of the city to the other. I haven't been in a city, big city like that for about five months, so it's different, but yeah. Seems like a decent park so far. Morning from Perth. So we haven't picked up the camera in the last few days. We've all been feeling a little bit under the weather. But this morning we've come out to Kings Park for a little explore. It's located kind of right in the middle of the city, um, backing onto the river. And so far it's absolutely beautiful. Look how nice the grass is here. It's like pretty much like a um, golf green. It's like perfectly maintained. There's not even a weed. I reckon I can't see one weed. So this area is a nature escape, Kings Park. It's quite impressive. It's like a really huge area with all these different activities for the kids. These really nice landscaped little pond areas and stuff. It's quite cool. I'm very impressed so far with the city of Perth and all this, all they put effort they put into this area. It's our last day in Perth, so we're going out for dinner in the Scarborough area. So we're going to have some dinner and then we're going to go hang out down the beach and watch the sunset. So it'll be a good end to the, our last day in Perth. So we just finished our feed and grill. They're actually not a bad value. I feel like the prices haven't really gone up over the years. Compared to a lot of other restaurants lately have gone up a lot in price, so I used to think they're pretty expensive, but they're not too bad now. It's an absolute hive of activity down here this afternoon. People everywhere. How cool is this place? They've got like this epic big skate park over here. They've got like rock climbing over the side for free. Bloody big hills people can sit on. It's really cool. I think the council over in Queensland needs to step it up a notch, eh? Because like this, this Esplanade area is bloody amazing. I guess Brisbane does have some pretty cool spots too, but I think it's just what makes this place so nice is it's right on the beach. We've got this huge beach running along here. It just feels so good in the afternoons with like all oh, so much activity to do. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch next week's episode as we explore Rottnest Island.